Beautiful morning out here on the beach. Beautiful morning. Show you what I'm doing. I'm picking up more concrete that's washed up, stacking it up here. Going to another gave me in case some pretty big pieces I got today. Actually, I was going out to go for a walk down the beach. And I seen these big old pieces of concrete that's washed up in the sand. I said, oh man, I want to collect those. It's very nice out here this morning. Saturday morning. Stormed really hard yesterday evening and last night. But it always makes for a fresh morning the next day. Good morning. Ah, you got a couple, honey. Yeah. Yeah, got him a couple. See you later, Ernie. Have a good morning. Water is so clear this morning. It's low tide right now. Look at that sandbar across right there. Waves breaking out on it. And the water is just crystal clear. You see Imelda Marcos. Good morning, everybody. Well, it's time to get to work. The guys are here coming up right now. Time to get on it, on it, on it. Mel and I had a nice morning at the beach earlier. We walked down the beach, took a stroll. But right now, they are ready to get to work. And this is where we left off yesterday. Francis and I were working on it, and Mont Mock had to leave, but he's back, and they're going to get back to it this morning. Well, it's break time for the boys right now. In fact, they'll be back in a minute. They've already been on break for a bit. And. They've been continuing on right here, getting all their supports underneath. Um, it looks like he has cut the plywood there now, and right when they went on break, he stopped from sliding it in. I want a lot of these loose ends tied up before we take on that final big project over there. Because after it, um, the project's going to change. I'm not just going to be continually building here for the rest of my life. I'm still waiting for the screws to come in to screw the metal up on the back back here. I didn't know Marvin was going to work today. He missed yesterday, supposedly sick, and he's back today. And I didn't plan any work for him. I really didn't have any work for him. I really didn't like full time bring him back on. It was just like if he couldn't go fishing, I tried to give him something to do to help out with his family. But I can't do that forever either. You know, there is a budget somewhere along the line that you got to you know draw a line of just continually money popping out and um, Mel and I both feel like we need to wrap all this up so and focus more on the business marketing side and doing like a little bit of landscaping stuff here and stuff like that that 
um, make the place nice. And but the continuous building, I've been more than ready for it to stop. In fact, I wouldn't even plan on this. This is a project Melinda asked me to do, and I'm doing it for. But it was actually not ever ever in the picture for me to be doing this. And I have that big piece of wood, that huge slab from a tree that's going to go across here and make a big bar top. But until I can dry this in, I don't want it here. Up the farming continues. Angels frying up a milkfish over here. Hello everybody! <laughs> yeah, so we are here inside our room and check it out who with me here. It's JJ. Yes. Well, she's. Uh, I'm just trying to be left up her spirit, but actually she's not feeling good, right, JJ? Huh? Yeah, she's. Um, she's a little bit hot, right? Right now, her mama uh, give her already the uh, paracetamol. So bless her heart, right? Um, bless her heart. Well, it's over in the afternoon, and it's raining. <clears throat> and the guys are out here in the rain trying to work on this. Mark, if it gets raining too much, I'll just get out of the rain if you need to. But they're beginning to tie steel in. We're going to do what they call a double matting on this. Um, it is going to have some supporting little walls underneath it that we're going to be adding in. Um, so it's not it's not going to completely depend on just the deck underneath it right there. Good morning. It's been raining all night. Yes, it's been raining. So happy Sunday, by the way. Coffee time. Ha. Ah. Haven't slept good last night. I, I, I got insomnia again. <laughs> oh my goodness. But, like I said, I need to wake up early in the morning because I think it's my daily routine always and my body was used to it. So, and today, it's because Sunday, uh, Atelier and Patrick, uh, I one of our expat friends invite us today to their uh, bachoy festival. So to those who don't know is bachoy, it is like a noodles. Yeah, it is it is not like a noodle. So actually it is a noodles. So noodle soup. So I don't know if we can able to make it over there because uh, if it is raining like this you can't enjoy and uh, of course it's uh, messy okay so we're ready we're going to the santa barbara uh, for the Bachoy Festival. So, like I said in the, earlier in the, in the video, Dita Atelia and uh, Patrick invite us for their uh, town festival. And plus it's Sunday, so it's fun day out. So, see you there in Santa Barbara for the Bachoy Festival. So, look at Jilai. Wow, she's wearing a uh, weds. Are you sure you can handle later when you walk there? Yeah. 
Okay, as long as you can handle, you're not gonna say, my feet is tired. <laughs> Happy Bachoy Piesta. Oh. Hello, how are you? Good. So it's our first time here to celebrate the experience. So, oh yeah, it's high school now. Everybody, you know. There's lots of vegetables. Four plus one free. Oh, it's free. See, we can get this one free. Lechon. Lechon. Ilabas ang lechon. Thank you, Tata. Oh, there's... Yeah, we're hungry. Photo. That's a food. Oh, no, it's a black photo. It's a black photo. Wow. Photo, it's a black photo. What's that? Bridos. Bridos, Bacho. So, Bridos. And Chayo and Porter. So, it is the one that we line up here. Bridos, Bacho. Tita said it's very good. I can't see, of course, my eyes. James guarding our table. <laughs> Welcome to Bachay Festival here in Santa Barbara. Putu and Bachoy. What happened here? I got liver. Feels good to feel good again. Enjoying our Sunday over here in Santa Barbara. It is the Santa Barbara Bachoy Festival. So we're hanging out with our friends, Patrick and Leah, and some of their family, and got our niece with us, Gila. Of course, she's like a adopted daughter, an unofficial adopted daughter. But uh, we're just really enjoying over here right now. I thought you're dead. <laughs> But now I know that chicken place we go to all the time.
so Santa Barbara seems pretty nice here, doesn't it? It's a nice plaza. The the town hall is nice. Look, they got a museum over there. The Centennial Museum Information Center. The church, everything. It's it's pretty nice. I guess I never went and spent any time around Santa Barbara's plaza before. Wow. Got a really cool gazebo up here too. People are all hanging out in there right now, but very pretty. That's something I like about the Philippines is all the plazas and the towns, man. That is always something so cool. Yeah. Very nice. Wow. I do feel like that the nature is really give a lot of uh, the, the only thing, the only problem I found here, Mo, is there's just a lot of uh, homeless kids here. <laughs> Hello everyone, so to those who don't know uh, the place of my mom, so I'm here right now inside my mom's house. So you see all the kids is playing on the phone with their Minecraft. So yes, this is my mom's living room. We're watching TV here because it's Sunday. My uncle there. Yes, this is uh, their living room. And plus, of course, uh, my sister have a sari sari store, or we call it one a convenience store. And uh, they're out of space, so they're using inside here as a, like a warehouse for the rice to keep this one dry. Okay, let's proceed to the kitchen. Okay, so this is the extension of uh, the place here. That it is my one of my sister that been live in Texas also uh, built this one. This uh, extension. So this is the room if they come visit. But if they're not here, if they're not around the. Uh, if they're not around, you know, if my brother, a uh, policeman, if we, he come home, he also using this room. So this is only like a guest room. And uh, there's a terrace here that you can see actually in front of the beach. But of course, it is uh, always have a sea spray. So they're always uh, closing this one. It's a veranda. It's pretty quite a uh, uh, good size uh, veranda and this is the one that I said if you live in the close to the beach it's always a lot of maintenance and it's easy to destroy all your stuff see it's already rusting it's not that this uh, place here is not that old I think it's only like uh, three years so you see this one so that's why you need to be always a uh, follow up uh, maintenance yeah so this is the beach and uh, this one here is my it is our old house before that actually you can build a second story on that top on that one my one of my brothers planning to do that one but uh, i told i stopped them to do that because it's uh, you know like uh, in front of the beach and it's, uh, it's really hit by strong wind and typhoon so yeah, so by the way, it is our old house and we give it away to one of my brother, Marvin. See, it is, it is their ambience here in front of the beach. But they're not, the, they're not the really using always this veranda here. Okay, so let's back inside. So this is the room and there's already a big cabinet here that you can... Uh, put all your stuff and of course it's my brother's stuff here here we go this is my mom uh, guest room I know I show you their privacy but it is their restroom here it's quite big uh for toilet and then the shower and this is my 
Mom kitchen. Yes, it is their kitchen. So that's why to those don't know that they say something bad, you know, about why we're not build mom's house. Well, this is my mom's house here. And they also have a small pantry here or <laughs> call this one a storeroom, storage under the staircase. And this is uh, the important thing, the kitchen, the cooking space. Of course, we use the, uh, the using the wood. So, of course, you're expecting the, the color black. So this is, we call this one a dirty kitchen, but they have a stove also, gas stove, and this one is for the wood stove here. And they also have a washing machine. They use that one for if they're lazy to do their, their laundry. So, so now you know that uh, what is inside my mom's house. And there's a two bedroom here. This one here with one my sister. And this one there. It's also our room. And of course there are so many so and also uh, because of, there's a store here and the place is so busy and a lot of stock to do. So that was my sister's store there. It's a, a lot inside. It's full of groceries. Look at that! Oh my gosh! Look at that! It's so dark! So I'm heading back to casa before this rain gonna pour. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. See? I can feel the breeze. You can see the light and the dark. Scars. I'll brush you up just.